Hi, I'm Steve Bates from The People um, with the latest round of uh, predictions for this weekend's fixtures. First up we have uh, Arsenal Sunderland. Uh, no surprisingly, perhaps I'm going to go for an Arsenal win here. I think Sunderland could cop uh, a bit of a backlash after uh, uh, Arsenal's uh, very, very disappointing uh, Carling Cup final performance against Birmingham. Uh, I'm sure they'll want to uh, get back to winning ways and uh, particularly uh, I'm sure they will be encouraged by um, Manchester United's defeat at Chelsea midweek. So uh, going for uh, uh, a win there for, for, for Arsenal. Next up we have Birmingham West Brom. Uh, tough um, uh, Midlands derby this one. Um, I'm going to go for a draw. I think there may be a bit of a, a hangover for Birmingham for, uh, from, from their uh, cup exploits. I'm sure they've uh, maybe parted hard for a couple of days. West Brom may be uh, wanting to take advantage of that. Certainly uh, uh, having uh, climbed out of the relegation zone uh, I think they want to stay out um, and I'm uh, sort of predicting a draw for this one. Next up we have Blackpool Chelsea. I um, think Chelsea are on a, a high at the moment. Obviously the win against Manchester United was uh, um, terrific news for them. Um, and um, you know they are a team capable of going on a long unbeaten run and I'm sure that's their intention at the moment. So uh, uh, although Blackpool are a pretty formidable side uh, uh, these days when they come up against the uh, bigger opposition I'm predicting an away win here. Next up we have Bolton and Villa. Um, going for an away win here for Villa. Um, uh, they had a disappointing FA Cup exit at Manchester City uh, in midweek. Um, I think that should spur them into some kind of a backlash against Bolton. Especially maybe as uh, Jared Hulia left many of his big guns on the bench uh, against City and uh, we'll also have a cup tied Darren Bent available again. So uh, an away win for Villa. Next up Fulham Blackburn. Going to go for a home win on this one. I think Blackburn, Blackburn have gone into a, a bit of a spin of recent uh, times, uh, to finding it hard to win. Uh, Fulham will be uh, no doubt buoyed by their uh, excellent points at Manchester City last week, so a uh, home win for Fulham. Next up, Liverpool Man United. Really big one this, uh, massive game for Manchester United, but I think without Vidic and uh, Rio Ferdinand, who may miss the game because he's injured still, uh, I think Liverpool will uh, um, hold all the aces in this one. Um, no pressure on them. Um, to beat Manchester United, obviously uh, local pride at stake, but uh, I feel that um, Liverpool will uh, have a point to prove under Kenny Dalglish uh, as he uh, presides over this one at Anfield, uh, so I'm going to predict a Liverpool win. Next up, Man City Wigan, uh, going to go for a home win here. Um, saw Wigan last week against Manchester United, and although they played well for the opening 20 minutes, they uh, do have an alarming tendency to crumble defensively, uh, and City have got some great firepower at the minute. Uh, as Aston Villa can testify and uh, I'm going to go for a City win. Uh, next up Newcastle Everton. Uh, Everton picked up a couple of crucial uh, crucial injuries uh, um, in, in that uh, uh, defeat by Reading in the FA Cup which will have obviously knocked them back so I'm going to go for a draw on this one. Um, I think um, they'll still have enough to get something out of the game but uh, not a victory I'm afraid so uh, a draw Newcastle Everton. Next up West Ham Stoke. Um, going to go for a home win here. West Ham had a great win against Liverpool and uh, although Stoke are tough opponents at any time, I think they will uh, uh, have enough at Upton Park to uh, to see this one out. So home win. And uh, finally Wolves Tottenham. I'm going to go for an away win for Tottenham here. Um, Tottenham need to get back to winning ways in the league because I think uh, that is the best route for them into the Champions League. Uh, so uh, an away win.